My name is Tony Fisher. I'm 89 years old and I live on my own in my land. I've lived in the East End all my life. Mila and me, we both grew up around here. In Bethnal Green, then Brick Lane. It used to be such a big Jewish community. That was the happiest place to be. It was wonderful. And me and me talking about anything, that was the best part of it. It made me laugh. We would both laugh together. We cried together. We just enjoyed ourselves. We grew old together, that's all. She was my best friend and I could rely on her. We done everything together. She was everything to me. She eventually became a bit ill. And it gradually grew worse and worse. Then it we got too bad. The ambulance came, took her into the hospital, and that, that's where it all ended. And the last words she said was, Tony. And that was it. When they come back home, it feels empty. You look around, no, she's not there. It is lonely now. People don't talk to you very much. No one's got any time for anyone else. No one wants to talk to no man like me. I haven't got anyone anymore. Not since Amelia's side. And welcome to the world this week, the Jewish care, they pick me up on the bus every day. <laughs> and take me to the centre in Stepney. It can't come quick enough as you go to the club. I can make my mod airplanes, I can be around friends. I can chat, have a cup of tea, read. Well, look, I thought I didn't know, and I hate them, man, I can I got people I could spend Shabbat and festivals with. It makes me feel Jewish again. The staff and volunteers are wonderful. They can't do enough for me. I've never had so many people around me. What worries that I've got, I could share it with them. If it wasn't for the club, I wouldn't know which way to turn. It is my second home. The Jewish care is like a family to me. If I didn't have that, oh, blimey. Without it, I'll be lost. I still can't bring Amelia back, but when I'm at the club, I feel that she's still here, beside me. <laughs> <laughs>